Hi, everybody. It's Friday, March 20th. Today, I'm going to read Stella Luella's Runaway Book. Hmm, looks like some library checkout cards on there. Has anybody ever lost a library book? Seems to recall that happening. I know I've lost some and my kids have. It's hard to keep track of them. All right. <clears throat> Ready? On Saturday morning, Stella's library book disappeared as if in a magic act. Stella was in a tizzy. She ran through the house searching frantically for the book, looking in the backs of closets, on the tops of shelves, in the beds, baskets, and bathtubs. She looked in toy boxes, tool boxes, and cereal boxes. The book was gone. Great balls of fire, shouted Stella's father. What's going on? My library book has disappeared. Stella cried. It's due today by five o'clock. How will I ever tell Mrs. Graham at the library that I've lost it? Stella burst into tears. Simmer down, her father said. Think, where did you have it last? Stella squeezed her eyes closed and thought. The hammock out back, she gasped. <clears throat> Stella ran to the hammock with her father close behind. The book was not there. Her little brother Sam sat digging in the dirt below. Sam, their dad said, Stella's library book is missing. It's due today by five o'clock. Have you seen it? Yesterday, Sam nodded. It was a good book. I liked the bears. Where is it now? Asked Stella. I left it on the front porch, Sam asked. Answered by the mailbox. He left it by the mailbox. I wonder what book she had checked out. Sam really liked the bears. Stella ran to the front porch with Sam and her father close behind. No book in sight. Just then, Wally Hansen walked up. Mr. Hansen, Sam called. My sister's library book is lost. It has to get back to the library by five o'clock. Have you seen it? That was yours? Wally groaned. It was mixed in with the mail and I wasn't sure where it came from. Good book though, especially when they go on a walk. Where is it now? asked Stella anxiously. I left it at the house on the corner, he said. I thought it might belong to the little girl who lives there, Tiffany Ann. Stella ran to the corner house with Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. Mrs. Graham will be furious with me, Stella moaned. Tiffany Ann was sitting on the steps combing her hair. Tiffany Ann called Wally. We're looking for Stella's library book. It's due today by five o'clock. Did you find it? Hey, great book, said Tiffany Ann. I loved the little girl. Where is it, begged Stella. I thought it might have been reported missing, Tiffany Ann said. So I gave it to Officer Tim when he walked by. Stella ran all the way to the police station with Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. Officer Tim, Officer Tim, yelled Tiffany Ann. Do you still have that book I gave you? It's Stella's and it absolutely must get to the library by five o'clock. Um, negative, said Officer Tim. I was on my way to return it, but I stopped by Wanda Lynn's diner to apprehend a cup of coffee and accidentally left it there. Interesting book, though. A classic case of unlawful entry. Better check the premises to see if it's still there. <clears throat> Stella ran fast and furious to Wanda Lynn's diner with Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. Mrs. Graham won't let me check out a book ever again, Stella fretted. Wanda Lynn, barked Officer Tim, have you seen a library book? It was here a minute ago, she said. Love the part about the porridge. But where is it now, pleaded Stella. It's due at the library by five o'clock. You know how Mrs. Graham hates late books. Sorry.
sorry, honey lamb, Wanda Lynn said. I seem to remember Sal from the fix-it shop picking it up. Stella ran pell-mell to Sal's fix-it shop with Wanda Lynn, Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. Sal, Sal, shouted Wanda Lynn. Where is that book you picked up? Stella must get it back to the library by five o'clock. Riveting book, Sal said, especially when that chair was broken. Please, oh please, begged Stella. Say you still have it here. I'm afraid not, Sal said. Morty from the Bed Bazaar asked to borrow it. Have you figured out what book it is yet? Stella ran to the Bed Bazaar with Sal, Wanda Lynn, Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. Morty, called Sal. We've got a problem. That book you borrowed is Stella's, and it's due at the library no later than five o'clock today. Morty shook his head. A baby carried it off not ten minutes ago. We just might be able to catch her. She's headed west on Elm Street with her mother. It was a terrific book, Morty raved as he joined the crowd. I love the part where the little girl tries out the beds. Stella moaned, Mrs. Graham will never believe this. Stella ran west on Elm Street <clears throat> with Morty and Sal, Wanda Lynn, Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. It was now three o'clock. Stop, stop, shouted Morty when they saw a baby carriage up ahead. We need that book back. Stella's got to have it to the library by five o'clock. The mother turned around. I'm so sorry, dear, she said to Stella. It was a lovely book, especially the part about the nap. We gave it to a trustworthy troop of scouts headed south on Sycamore Street. What if I'm banned from the library, sobbed Stella. The baby, too, began to cry. Stella ran south on Sycamore Street with the baby and mother. Morty and Sal, Wanda Lynn, Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. Two blocks later, they spied the scouts. Hey, wait up, yelled the baby's mother. There's been a mistake. That library book is Stella's and it's due by five o'clock today. The weary scouts were returning from a long nature walk. We don't have it, said the exhausted scout leader. It was a bo good book though, especially when the bears finally returned home. The scouts all nodded. We left it with Duff Morton. He stopped off at the park to work on his bug badge. I'll never get to read a library book again, whined Stella. Stella ran willy-nilly toward the park with the troop of scouts, the baby and mother, Morty and Sal, Wanda Lynn, Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. It was now four o'clock. Duff, quick, shouted the scout leader. Hand over that book. It has to get to the library by five o'clock. Duff looked up from his magnifying glass. Aha, he said, excellent book, especially when the bears discovered that girl. But I gave it to Miss Flynn, the gym teacher, when she ran by. She was headed north. Stella now ran north with Duff Morton, the troop of scouts, the baby and mother, Morty and Sal, Wanda Lynn, Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. Stop, shouted Duff when Mrs. Flynn was in sight. Stella has to return that library book you have by five o'clock. But I don't have it, said Mrs. Flynn, still jogging. I loved the ending, though, when that little girl ran through the forest. I left the book on a bench at the corner of 10th and Walnut. Maybe it is still there. I'll probably have to turn in my library card, sobbed Stella, still leading the way. <clears throat> Stella 
So Stella ran to the corner of 10th and Walnut with Miss Flynn, Duff Morton, the troop of scouts, the baby and mother, Morty and Sal, Wanda Lynn, Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally, Sam, and her father close behind. But when they arrived there, the bench was empty. Everyone searched from top to bottom. Stella's book simply wasn't there. What they did discover, though, was that the bench at 10th and Walnut was smack dab in front of the library. It it was 10 minutes till 5 o'clock. I guess that's it, Stella said, choking back the tears. It's gone. I might as well go in and confess to Mrs. Graham. She will never, ever forgive me. Have you figured out what book it was yet? Stella now walked as slow as molasses into the library with, well, everyone close behind. She thought about turning around and running, but it was no use. Mrs. Graham would track her down eventually. Then all too soon, Stella was at the front desk. She couldn't bear to look at Mrs. Graham in the eye. Wonderful Mrs. Graham, who had story, ever, story hour every Saturday, Wonderful Mrs. Graham, who always helped her find books. Wonderful Mrs. Graham, who she was about to disappoint terribly. I, I've i lost my book, Stella whispered at last, trying not to cry. I'm so very sorry. <clears throat> Mrs. Graham smiled mysteriously pulling something from under the counter. For st some strange reason, this was on the bench outside, she said. <gasps> My book, Stella yelled. You found it. Joyful shouts burst from Stella's friends, and there was an excited buzz as everyone recalled their favorite parts again. Mrs. Graham agreed with them all. What's your favorite part of the book, Stella asked her. Why the same as with every book? Mrs. Graham said with a chuckle, my favorite part is when someone reads it. So at five minutes till five o'clock, Mrs. Graham checked out a new book to Stella. And Miss Flynn, Duff Morton, the troops of scouts, the baby and mother, Morty and Sal, Wanda Lynn, Officer Tim, Tiffany Ann, Wally Sam, and her father were all close behind. Now they all have a good book to read. Did you guys figure out what book she had lost? There are lots of clues. It sounded like she had lost the book, The Three Bears, Goldilocks and the Three Little Bears. Sounds like that was the good book that she had lost. Have you read that one or heard that story? I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.